Hello, I'm Will, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Gamo Fox. So here it is, the Gamo Fox. I'm going to be going through all of its features, and I'm also going to be having a little shoot after, just to see its capabilities, and have a bit of a laugh. So, let's go through all the features of this gun. First of all, it's 104 centimeters in length and weighs around six pounds about the scope. The scope does come with the gun as well. The stock and grip are all plastic with texture for grip. And it's a thumb hole style grip. Because of this plastic, it can take a bit of bashing around, which means leaning on fences and wire isn't gonna be a problem and you can really take this out on the fields. The cheek piece is adjustable. Uh, but only slightly, so you're not really going to get much of an advantage out of this, uh, but it is doable. The gun does come with a silencer, as you can see, and I'm just going to remove it here. You can remove it, as shown, um, and you can upgrade it if you'd like, or maintenance-wise, so yeah. The trigger's also adjustable, um, and it's plastic, but for me, I found that in the box, how it came, uh, the trigger was actually set perfectly, so I haven't actually adjusted it before. Um, the safety's also here, and it's forward for fire, back for safety. To fill with gas, I'm gonna show you a quick video now on how you do that. Right, so here we go. Um, we've got the gun on a rest at the moment, and we're gonna be filling it up with gas. Um, you don't need a rest, you can do it without a rest, or. Uh, just using some socks with sand or whatever, whatever you've got lying around. Um, you just want to make sure it's steady um, when you're filling up with gas. Uh, so yeah, first of all you just want to remove this plastic part here and it, it comes off just like that. Put that to one side. Uh, this is something I don't like about the gun is this area is now exposed so you can do this in the fields um, or in the woods whatever you're doing um, but I, ideally you want to be doing it at home, um, indoors, or where I am now, which is in a kind of pavement type thing. Um, so yeah, and then, yeah, so you've got the pump here. Like I said, this comes with a gun. Uh, these fold out, and now you can stand on this and it's, it's just like a bicycle pump or something. So yeah, make sure it's the right way around. Uh, you get a little hole here, and you want to line that up with here so this flat part is flat to the gun like so there we go if it is stiff like that you might want to have some gun lube on the side but yeah so making sure um, that it's flat like so there you go and now literally all you need to do is tighten this valve here tighten this up and you're ready to start pumping as you can see you've got a valve here and you want to be filling that up to 232 bar which is um, labelled. Once that's filled, you just want to remove this and you're ready to go. So now it's filled with gas, you're ready to shoot. Again, going up to 232 bar and shooting down to 100. Although there's no regulator on this gun, the power curve is very small, which means you're gonna get very consistent shots. Um, and yeah, so this gun has an average of 743 FPS and has a 10.32 foot pound force it has about it has a killing range um, of about 40 yards for hunting uh, at small game but is effective at plinking for up to 100 yards your gas cylinder for 2.2 uh, but it, this gun also comes in 177 so it's different uh, will give you up to 40 to 50 shots um, to load a pellet you're going to pull out the bolt here as you can see and then that will load a pellet through the magazine as you can see here and then you just want to push the bolt back in and now you're ready to shoot so now i'm going to be showing you how you load this magazine it is a gamo and bsa technology it's very good and efficient i'm shooting these h and n 
Barracuda Hunter pellets, uh, which are hollow point, and they seem to do really well um, through the fox. Um, so first, you want to take the magazine. This is the uh, part which will be facing towards you. Your pellet's going in this way. Some magazines you're going to have to flip rounds and all that. Literally, this is the easiest magazine I've ever loaded. Get your first pellet, put it in. Should go in nicely, just like that. And then rotate it back. Your next pellet's ready. So get your next pellet, push it in. There's your next one. And it's got a locking feature, so it won't rotate all the way. So you rotate it back, just hold that there with your finger. Put the next pellet in, and look, it's locked. So this can hold 10 shots. It's so simple, it's really quick. You can do it one-handed. Yeah, really, really good. When you've reached the end, you'll see that it has a little 10 here. When you load the magazine, you will see that and you know this pellet is pellet number 10. Um, and when you push through, uh, it will go to pellet number nine and so on. So that's a really good way of keeping track of what pellet you're on. Um, yeah, really good. This is how it works really. So imagine that's all covered up here. So you can just see that 10. You'll push the bolt through, which will load the pellet. And when you pull this back out, your next pellet's ready to go. It's so simple, so easy. Yeah, really, really good. There you go. So here's a close up of the gun and you can really see that texturing now. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, so you want to pull the bolt back, uh, make sure it clicks, um, otherwise it won't actually um, put any gas through. So yeah, now take your magazine, that's the back like I said, and you're going to go in this way. You can see there's a dimple here, lines up with that hole. Push it through, it um, kind of locks itself in place. I don't think there's any magnets in there, uh, but yeah, and then push your bolt back through. Uh, it can be tricky depending on uh, the pellets you're shooting, but that was fine. As you can see, there's that 10. Let me see the focus. There's that 10, so you know which shot you're on. You're loaded now, so you can take a shot. Watch, watch the... So that's that. Pull the bolt back. As you can see, the magazine's changed to 9 push it back so you know you've got uh, the ninth pellet loaded take your next shot same again number eight and so on really simple really easy when you get to the end it will say one and you need to make sure you know that um, you've just shot number one because it will still say one it's not going to carry on going to zero or anything um, and if you shoot on an empty barrel it can damage uh, your gun so yeah that's the only thing, but really that's nothing to really think about. Um, it's, yeah, it's really good magazine, really clever. Uh, they've done well on this one. You can get the gun by itself. Um, I believe the scope's still included, but if you buy the full bundle, you get a gun bag, a pump, a three by nine by 40 scope, and of course, one magazine. So that's everything to do with this gun, pretty much. Uh, if I've missed anything, comment down below. Uh, but now for the fun bit, I'm just going to be shooting some targets. Um, the two logs set up over there. I'm going to put some stuff up. Uh, yeah, it should be quite fun. Um, and then, yeah, so let's get on with that. So, this was actually requested. So, if you've got any requests for things you want to see me shoot or anything really, comment below. But yeah, so I was asked if I want to shoot some yogurts because see if they might explode. So, yeah, I'm going to shoot these and yeah, we'll see what happens. So, here we go the yogurts. We've got raspberry, apricot and strawberry down on the bottom by itself. Well, that was all right. It wasn't amazing. So let's see if we can go for all three. Shaking up Coke can. That was a reference, by the way, to a really cringe moment. 
a shaken up Coke can. Do you think it will go through long ways? It's quite hard at the back there. Let's see if the fox can manage it. Again, I'm just shooting those H&M pellets. So Easter's coming up soon, so I thought, you know, let's make it a bit themed. So we got some eggs and uh, we even got the Easter bunny. So yeah, let's see how he fares against the gamo fox. Bye bye Easter bunny. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that was a clean headshot right there. Oh, that's satisfying. All right, let's finish him off. He's gone. It's quite nice actually. Everyone loves air rifle and egg shots, don't they? And I've also got this. Now, this is a hairspray. Don't try this at home. Um, this should go boom. Uh, so, let's see if this lovely scenery is going to burn down. Hopefully, not. Whoa! Whoa! Now, I'm just going to do some different uh, long range shooting. So, starting at 10 yards, 15, 20, 25. And then we're just going to go straight up to 50. And if I can manage to set up something at 100 yards, I'll do it. Don't know if I'm going to hit any, but you know, I'm just going to keep going as far as I can. Or as, yeah, so that should be fun. So this is a 40 yard shot. So there I am set up over there. We're going all the way. Can't really see it on the camera. All the way over there. You can see I've set up a, a soup can, empty soup can, and just some targets. Um, I'll set the camera up over there actually, but yeah, you can see all the way, yeah, 40 yards. Um, I might be able to get further, but yeah, I don't know why I said I'd do 100 yards. <laughs> um, that's not going to be able to be done. Might be able to just get 50 though if I sit somewhere else. But it's, it's a bit awkward because all these trees in the way. But yeah, so let's get to that. Well, I'm gutted. Just did a 40 yard shot and uh, the camera fell over. <sighs> what can you do? Well, yeah, let's try it again, I guess. Okay, yeah, 40 yard shot again. Uh, gotta be quick because I'm running out of storage. But yeah, so my gun's sighted for 25 yards, as I did say, but yeah, the camera fell over. But yeah, so um, let's hit that can. Don't worry about the targets, I'm not gonna bother with them, but yeah. First bloody shot. I mean, I kind of cheated a bit because I already knew where to aim, but still, looks like I only skimmed it. Oh, you can't see it because it's all zoomed in. Yeah, it's only skimmed. Uh, that was the last shot. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try that again. No way. That's mad. All right, let's go again. So this was our first shot right through there and massive exit wound uh, and this is our second shot through there and then I don't oh and then it didn't have enough power see a little dent in there that's weird it ma ripped a massive hole there but only dented there uh, yeah weird I don't know but um, maybe I'm running out of gas uh, I don't think I am because I just pumped it up but yeah so there we go he is quite battered, 40 yards, hit it three times, two on camera, but that will have to do. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but yeah. So there it is, the Gemmo Fox. I've had fun with this gun. Um, yeah. And the reason why I'm making this video actually is uh, I'm going to say goodbye, hopefully. Well, not hopefully. Um, to this gun because I'm trading it in for the Hatsang Galatian 4. Um, I do love this gun, it's a great gun, there's nothing wrong with the gun, um, I just really like the Hatsan, um, 
I don't really want to get rid of this, but I haven't really got the money uh, to buy the hat sand, um, so I'm going to be uh, trading this one in. Maybe one day I'll buy it back. Um, not necessarily this one, but, but yeah, great gun. Uh, I've had a great time with it. Um, shot a few pigeons with it. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, there you go. That That's the Gamo Fox. Um, yeah, great gun. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.